Time for the National Hunt Flat Race then next. It's over an extra furlong today, two miles and one furlong. Pretty sure it used to be one mile and six here. It's Bell Harbour for Stu Gray, Quozart for Paul Rhodes, South Vietnam for Paul Rhodes, Cleveland Creek for Vinnie Gerard, First Dance for David Hooley, Imperial Title Leon Van Rensburg, Locksford, Darren Thompson and Perugino Reluctance. Perugino Reluctance for David Robertson. So eight of the men. And away we go. First dance is the first one to show from Imperial Title second. In South Vietnam is in third. It close up fourth and Loxwood fifth. Then Cleveland Cleek, Pirigino Reluctance, and finally Bell Harbour at the back. So they're already through the first furlong and a half. A couple of furlongs already almost already. And first dance is two lengths to the good. Along in the lead for David Hooley. South Vietnam is in second, just being taken there by Cleveland Creek for Vinnie Gerard. Leon van Rensburg's Imperial title is next. It's a up and down day. Leon is two red hot fancies in the Grand National, both crashing out at Valentine's Brook and a real turn up. As first dance continues to show the way. Loxwood in second. And then close up on South Vietnam as they come past the chair. Bell Harbour is just a back marker. And first dance is the leader past the winning post then with a complete circuit to go. And first dance happy to lead. The rest of them are virtually in a line with the exception of Bell Harbour who's just the back marker. First dance leads it by four or five lengths. Nothing wrong with the National Hunt flat race and a few hurdles couldn't put right. And first dance is the leader. From Quozark in second, then South Vietnam and Cleveland Creek. Here comes Imperial Title. Loxwood and finally Bell Harbour. I want to be careful they don't give this first dance too much of a too much of a lead. A bit of a turn of foot, these first horses of David Hoonies. There's plenty of them around, and they're not usually too far away. Quozark's in second, Imperial title third, South Vietnam back in fourth, then Perugino reluctance for David Robson. You wouldn't rule out anything of his today, yesterday, or maybe even tomorrow. But it's first dance who's in the lead from Quozark second, Imperial title third, South Vietnam is fourth, and then Loxwood, then Perugino Reluctance, and a gap to Cleveland Harbour, and then poor old Bell Harbour at the back. It's Cleveland's a creek, Bell's a harbour. And they've got four furlongs and a little bit just to go. With first dance in front, Quozark second, Imperial title is third, and Loxwood is fourth, then South Vietnam after that one. And then comes Perugino Reluctance, and then Cleveland Creek, and finally Bell Harbour. The race down towards the final three, and first dance doesn't look like stopping at the moment. The rest of them have all been pushed along to try and close. Not making that much of an impression. With two furlongs to go, first dance, and David Hooley. Well, dancing their way to the victory by the looks of things, but now Imperial Title comes through to try and throw down a challenge. Loxwood's getting closer as well. Then Quozart and South Vietnam, and suddenly First Dance's lead is down to a little more than two. They're inside the final furlong, and First Dance is in the lead. Imperial Title and Loxwood are trying to close inside the final half furlong. They're not going to get there. And First Dance dances past the post and wins it. First Dance takes an Imperial Title is second, Loxwood third, then Quozart and Cleveland Creek, and all the way back to Bell Harbour. David Hooley takes the National Hunt Flat Race with first dance, Imperial title second, or Leon Van Rensburg. So first dance, David Hooley, the winner, Imperial title, Leon Van Rensburg second, Loxwood, Darren Thompson third, Quozark for Paul Rhodes was fourth, and South Vietnam for Paul Rhodes again was fifth. Now I was under the impression that was a grade two. Now if that had been a grade two, there should have been some penalties there surely but maybe we don't have penalties in national flat races i don't know we'll have to see